Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are focusing on the Falcon attack strategy at Town Hall 10, and specifically why it's a good idea on most uh, versions of this attack to bring five to ten hogs instead of more Valks and bowlers. So I'm going to go ahead and show a few replays. It's going to be a quick video. Um, just want to make this point because. One of the main things with the Falcon is it's unpredictable where the troops are going to go, especially after they're like in the middle of the base. And oftentimes they're going to leave part of it still up. This is where the hogs are important because they can take out defenses that your Valks and your Bowlers miss. And otherwise those defenses might be targeting your troops for a very long time because the Valks, the Bowlers, don't have any um, target preference. So they might be on the outside of the base taking out trash for like, a long time and then meanwhile all those defenses that they missed are going to be targeting them and especially if they're being tanked by Valks or something you can get some great value with some hogs so this is a good example this first one by PBR me um, once again in one hive Trinity for a little while just uh, checking out some of their wars here um, if you look at this one the bowlers don't actually get the inferno so everything goes to the right towards like the hero compartment and then this is where the hogs are very nice because the valks are tanking um, slips in these hogs they target the cannons then they're going to come in there and get the inferno uh, because the inferno is one of the biggest um deal breakers for the falcon is if you miss an inferno tower it can wreak some havoc especially if it's very well protected by walls even if you have your queen up um, it can take out your queen, some Valks, bowlers. So those hogs were a nice touch because they took out the main threats that were still up. Still holding on to three of these hogs, that's what you want to do. You want to deploy them very surgically um, around the base. So being nice and patient, deploy just enough hogs to get the uh, Inferno Tower taken out, but any more would have just been wasted as the Wizard Towers and Archer Towers were taking them out. So as everything moves around the base here, um, he's gonna be nice and patient and once again uh, you often have a bunch of Valks on the outside of the base which would take a while to get to these defenses but here we go they're being tanked sends in the hogs quickly uh, they grab the uh, wizard tower uh, archer tower with the help of the bowlers and I think they might get this archer tower as well actually um, so great value there and uh, they will die but like I said the 10 hogs make a big difference we'll fast forward because they just have to get through the wall here uh, pops the queen's ability that is gg nice attack we'll take a look at one more like i said just a quick video not worth wasting too much time on um, but let's look at kind of a weird base but the point is still illustrated by this attack here um, very nice use of the hogs so a uh, nice bowler bounce on the uh, mortar there and then starts the queen walk as usual uh, this army comp features eight hogs and what we're seeing is people just bringing cc bowlers i recommend maybe another two to three bowlers and just like one or two less valks um you can watch my falcon attack strategy video um which will probably be in your recommended right now, or if not, you can just search up One Hive Gazette Falcon attack strategy or something, um, because it's much more in depth on how to use this strategy. So if you're still kind of new to it, I recommend looking at that video. It's a little bit longer, much more in depth, you know, drawing stuff out in Udoodle, all that good stuff. Um, so that can be helpful potentially. But um, yeah, this is definitely a good variation that you want to use, um, I'd say on most bases, if the pathing is predictable and you think you can just crush it with the Valks and the Bowlers, then do that. Um, but otherwise, the Hogs are a good touch. I think what I was saying though is that bringing a few extra Bowlers, maybe more like seven or eight total, is good because the Bowlers are um, very important and that's what I mainly focused on uh, in my Falcon attack strategy video is how important the bowlers are not just the Valks So anyway things go off to the right here as typically happens with the Falcon nothing They don't always seem to go straight through the base as you might hope um, But there's still a lot of troops left up still has a nice heal there and then just sending in these hogs to um, take out defenses. It's also very nice if uh, you're using like a heal spell anyway, the hogs can get the benefit of the heal spell. Uh, so anyway, just being patient, not gonna drop them all at once because you wanna take advantage as much as you can of those high hit point, king, valks, 
um, especially with the healers. Uh, the defenses are tanked. So a few more hogs uh, sneak in there on the expo along with the queen helping. They'll grab the wizard tower as well. Just very nice and patient targeting of these hogs. A lot of this stuff the queen could already reach, but speeding it up and um, it's ensuring these defenses go down because, like I said, even if you have a bunch of Valks left up, if there's a lot of walls and a solid number of defenses, especially Inferno Towers, they can all die to those Infernos. So the Hogs are a great touch. Once again, the Inferno was left up, so here they come. Going to go ahead and grab it. And a lot of these attacks, you could maybe say, oh, well, otherwise, if it was just more Valks and Boulders, probably would have been a three-star. But this does a better job securing it. And if these attacks were a little bit closer, you guys would have seen the value of the Hogs even more. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. Just two attacks to show, but I wanted to get it out there. Hope it helps. And like I said, recommend five to ten hogs in some of these falcon attack strategies. So I will uh, see you guys later. Bisectatron out.